Welcome to part two of this video. Uh, one of you asked on my website explainingmaths.com to help with this uh, particular question um, about statistics. So please check my site explainingmaths.com uh, to find all my resources and to ask me your questions. And um, in part one we have looked at mean mode and median and now we, uh, or I, I promised that we also would look at uh, question B of that past paper question involving group frequency and histograms. So let's find out what it says. It says the mass m grams of each of 200 chocolates is noted and the results are shown in the table. Yeah, so we have a bag of chocolates and we're going to weigh them, uh, we're going to find out what their mass is and then we're going to write it down. And then before looking at the questions, let's have a look at the table, the mass and the frequency. So between 10, to, uh, 10 grams and 20 grams, we have 35 chocolates, yeah, the frequency being 20 and 22, 115. 22, 24, 26 chocolates, and between 24 and 30 grams, 24 chocolates. Now, what is important to realize that you uh, understand that the width of the classes is different. Yeah? This is from 10 to 20, and this is only from 20 to 22. Yeah? So the width is different. Now, part A, calculate an estimate of the mean mass of a chocolate for four points. So you could tell yourself, well, um, I will have to <laughs> do some work for it. Yeah? They don't just give you four points for three. And it appears a little bit uh, as a contradiction because calculate, which means or, yeah, which implies that you do something accurately. And estimate sounds to some people as if you have to guess what the answer is. But you are not going to guess at all. Why do we have to calculate an estimate is because we do not know the exact mean. And why is that? Because, okay, we have 35 chocolates between 20, 10 and 20 grams, um, yeah, of which uh, the mass is between 10 and 20 grams, but we do not know their exact mass. The only thing we know is that it could be 11, 11, 12, 13, 15, 15, 16, yeah, or whatever, but we do not know the exact mass of each individual suite. So how do we calculate an estimate of the mean when we have a grouped a frequency table, then you have to take the mid value. That is the best you can do. You're going to say, well, of this first, um, of this first group, the mid value is 15, yeah, between 10 and 20. And I'll take the mid value here, 21. I'll take the mid value of each group, 23. And over here, uh, what is that? 27. Okay, there you go. And um, so we we'll take the mid value, and then we will calculate the mean as we always did. Uh, so we'll do it over here, where we did, it's uh, had the mean is the sum of all the values divided by the amount of values. So I have 35 chocolates, which are, yeah, we're going to say 15 grams each. So I have 35 times 15. But this is an estimation, because I do not know, or probably, they are not all 35, 15 grams, okay? So we just take the mid value, and that's why we say it is an estimation. We have 115 of them, of 21, and then we have 26 of them, of 23 grams, and 24 chocolates, we say, well, the mid value, 27. And all of that divided by, now some students then do, oh, divided by four. But you have more than just four chocolates. And if you would have to estimate at the beginning, what is the mean mass roughly? Well, I would say about 21, yeah, maybe 22. Yeah, but somewhere there. It's not going to be more than 30 because 30 grams is the highest uh, mass anyway. So it's not divided by four. Now, how many chocolates do you have? you actually have 200 chocolates, yeah? 35 plus 415 plus 26 plus 24. So you have to divide it by 200. Okay, now, new, can, uh, new that's Dutch, I uh, do apologize. Now you can get your calculator out, yeah? because we didn't need a calculator yet. Plug it in your calculator, and then correct to three significant figures. So I'll do the little waves, yeah? because it's almost equals to um, 20. Point nine. All right, there you go. Now that makes sense, 20.9. I said, well, I was expecting 21, 22, something like that. So 20.9 is, um, yeah, I'll believe that answer. Now, carrying on, it says on a histogram, the height of the column from 20 to 22 is 11.5 centimeters. Calculate the height of the other three columns. So those three do not draw the histogram. So please, indeed, do not draw the histogram. Um, all right, can I 
can I erase this? Is that possible? No, I can't. I'm trying to erase to create a little bit more space, but that's not possible. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're just going to carry on then in red. What do you need to realize? With a histogram, the area of a bar always represents the frequency. So I'm not going to draw the histogram, but just a very quick sketch that the area of, so for this class, will be the frequency. And the frequency is 115. And the height is 11.5, that's what they say. So 11.5, let's say this is a height of 11.5, all right? Now I want to find out, so how wide is the bar going to be? Huh? For this class only, I'm looking. So the area, so I'm gonna say X, so how wide is it? So the area is the frequency, 115. And if you work it out, then you will notice that X is 10 because 10 times 11.5 is 115. So again, for a histogram, the area of each bar represents the frequency. So if the frequency is 115 and they tell me the height is 11.5, then the width has to be 10. All right, so knowing that for this one, so for the second group, but that one only goes from 20 to 22. So you could say that that is from, oh, sorry, that is from 20 to 22. So each unit from 20 to 21, how wide will that be? That will be five, and that will be five as well. Okay, carry on. Uh, now for this one, so this one is from 10 to 20. So how wide is it going to be? So those are 10 units and one unit is five. So 10 units, it's going to be a width of 50. Now that's not going to fit, but let me just sketch it here. The width is going to be 50. The frequency has to be 35. So how high is it going to be? So you can do uh, 35 divided by 50. And I'm going to quickly grab a calculator. I could have done that, of course, before. Um, there we go, 35 divided by 50. And my calculator says 0 0.7. Okay, so the height of this class is gonna be 0 0.7. Again, just um, to summarize, one gram represents five centimeters. So 10 grams from 10 to 20, those will be 50 centimeters, so it's quite a graph. If the frequency is 35, then it must be a height of 0 0.7. And that's what I'm gonna do for this one as well. It has only a width of two units, so that's going to be 10 centimeters, huh? five centimeters per unit. The frequency is 26, so I'm gonna find out what is um, the height going to be. So 26 divided by 10, 2.6. I'll just put 2.6 there. And then the third one over here, so it has um, from 24 to 30, so that's six centimeters. One centimeter was five, sorry, not centimeters, that's six uh, grams. One gram is five centimeters, so that's gonna be 30 centimeters. The frequency is 24. So to find out the height of that bar on the histogram, I can do 24 divided by 30, and that will give me an answer of 0 0.8 centimeters all of them all right now i hope that was useful otherwise check out my other videos um yeah, all for free about histograms and what we call frequency density yeah, where the area of a bar represents the frequency okay um please like and share if it was useful and um, i hope to see you on my I hope to see you on my site soon explainingmaths.com and i wish you a very pleasant evening bye bye